It looks like something from a James Bond movie, but it's actually the newest tool police officers are using to fight crime. And as Channel 2 investigator Bill Spencer shows us, this is helping them defuse tense situations without using le lethal force. They are dreaded words no officer ever wants to hear. Many times it's a mental health crisis, officers left with little options, and few protocol to follow. Sean was 31 when he died. Sean went to Clements High School and the University of Houston for a year. He was bipolar, he had rapid cycling bipolar. He also had generalized anxiety disorder. He was temporarily living at home with his parents in Sugarland. He said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill myself, I can't take this anymore. And then Sean picked up a gun. I left the house, I told my wife to get out of the house, and then I called 911. As his dad, Ted, anxiously waited outside. And one of the officers, we could hear him say very loudly, drop the rifle, drop the rifle, drop the rifle. And then shortly after that, you know, boom, and then another boom. 25% of all deadly police shootings involve a person with a mental health disorder. Now, there's new technology, a non-lethal weapon for cops to use to instantly wrap up a combative person in the midst of a mental health crisis. Ready? It's called the Bola Wrap. What are you tying these people up with, essentially? The company calls these pellets. It uh, looks like two little mini grappling hooks. It's a Kevlar cord, so it's, the, it's made of the same substance that our bullet resistant vests are made of. Harris County Constable Precinct 1 is the first agency in our area to get the bowl of wrap. Precinct 1 executes all the mental health warrants for the entire county. If we have to take you into custody because we're required to, we want to make sure that you're not going to get hurt in the process. So to aim the device, you use the laser yes, sir. and point it right at what you're shooting at. Yes, sir. How fast does the wire come out of this thing? We're running around about 400 feet per second. So 400 feet per second? So now for the big moment, with the help of Sergeant Jimmy Cook, we're actually going to demonstrate how the bowl of wrap works. They're going to shoot it at me. So I'm going to load it. Loads in. I cock it. Turn it on. And as we're talking to the suspect, we're talking to him, hey, you know, come on, man, do what you need to do. To wow. 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 <laughs> Try to walk. I can't <laughs> run. I can't even walk. I mean, and it scared that that uh, that just scared the hell out of me. I gotta tell you. <laughs> right now, the bowler wraps are only assigned to the constable's mental health division. Over a hundred police agencies throughout the United States now have them. Back in Sugarland, for Ted, it's not just important for officers to have a new tool, but also better procedures. After his son's death, he formed a foundation to help improve police training. I talk to police officers just to tell our story and to engage in some conversation about, you know, tactics that uh, maybe they could use to keep everybody safe in a, in a crisis. And the foundation's work is paying off. Just a year after Sean's death, a crisis intervention team was formed in Sugarland. I'm the one who called 911, and I do feel a responsibility to try to make this less likely to happen to somebody else. So would you know what to do if your loved one was having a mental health crisis? Just head to clicktohouston.com right now and download a copy of these two cards. This one is a script, a, a guide of what to say when calling 911, and this is a list of instructions on what to do when the police arrive. By the way, we got these from the Eisensee Foundation for Safe Police Response. I'm Bill Spencer, KPRC Channel 2 Investigates. Fascinating, isn't it? Well, that was